Hi there, everybody. Um, I just had a great question about um, how to scale your two legends. Um, we've got these two different time periods um, with the anomalous temperature changes, and um, one of them is going to have a more extreme range of values. So editorially, um, if you're trying to downplay the idea of climate change, um, you know, leaving these two ramps the same, or I guess the default, um, gives you two maps that by comparison aren't all that different. Um, but if we were to set them so that the same temperature value used the same color, you're going to get a much uh, more distinctive uh, look between the two maps. So I show you how to set kind of the diverging point, this yellow color, to zero, which is really important. But I'm going to use elevation data to show you how to kind of create an apples to apples comparison where you set, you know, the maximum or red to the same value for each one. So um, I'm in ArcMap here. And what I have in the table of contents are three different raster data sets. I've got a two meter LIDAR data set, and that's just this square here. It's got a range of elevation values from 2,500 meters up to about 3,300 meters. Then I've got, uh, let me get this down here so it makes more sense. Um, I've got a five meter data set, that's this guy. Um, it's got a range of values from about 1,600 to 3,500 meters in elevation. It's going to have a, a wider spread here because it's covering a bigger area. We have higher mountains out here and lower valleys than the two meter extent. And then the 10 meter data is sitting in the background. Um, the 10 meter is this guy here. So it's got a smaller spatial extent, but it still has a pretty extreme range of values, bigger range of values than the 2 meter LIDAR, because that's just the upper end of the watershed here. So a range in values from 1500 to th about 3500 meters. So I went ahead and put a, a pretty gory um, color ramp on this just to kind of exaggerate the values so you could really see what's going on. What we want to do is, if we wanted to display, for example, this extent on three different data frames side by side on a map, right now we've got three different um, color ramps. Let me go ahead and apply the same color ramps to all these so you can see what I mean. Okay, and I'm going to zoom back out. We'll go back out to the five meter. Okay, so you can see the two meter what it does is it spreads this color ramp over this range of values. So you're going to cram all of these colors into a very uh, much smaller range of elevation values. So we're going all the way from red up to the dark blue. So the 10 meter is going to do the same thing. It's going to, rank, it's going to display this range of values from red to the darker blue over a wider. So that you know, the LIDAR is not going to match up. And so you're going to have, if you had these side by side, you'd have three completely different looks. These two are going to be close, but they're not going to match exactly, the 10 meter and the 5 meter. And you can see that a little bit right here. They're not matching up exactly because the range of values isn't the exact same. Okay, so how do we fix it? Um, this has, it doesn't, I'm not really sure if it matters in a situation like this. These are so close in range of values that it doesn't really matter. So just for kicks, let's use the five meter as our, as the one we're going to model the other two after. Go into the symbology of this guy, properties, symbology tab. And right now it's displaying this color ramp over this range of values. Okay, we're going to go down and set custom. We're going to uh, set the statistics by importing from the five meter. So it just brought in the range of values that match the five meter data set, the lowest 1633, the highest 1501. Okay, I just imported those. Then if I hit OK, the two meter data set just went away. Why? Because it's actually completely blended in. It didn't go away. There it is. But we are applying this color ramp over the same range of values that exists in the five meter data set. And so I'm going to do the same thing with the 10 meter and just watch right here and just make sure that you can see this cleaning up this edge. So let's go into the properties, symbology tab, 
and we're going to go down and instead of using the 10 meters range of elevation values, we're going to set custom this range of values. So right now you can see 3455 matches and 1518 matches here. Let's import from the 5 meter again. And now it's just changed to a new range of values. And you can see that this line here has completely disappeared. So right now, if we had a side-by-side, -side, three data frames showing this extent, the color ramps would be the exact same. Okay, And I think that might be something that you want to do. If you're editorializing and you want to... Um, if you're editorializing and you want to show that extreme shift in temperatures, um, over the two time periods, you probably want to go ahead and do this. If you are um, a denier, you want to downplay that difference. And so this, you know, this is about science communication. It's about um, transparency, right? And um, these things are really critical um, when you're consuming maps and producing maps. And I think I think that is the key word, transparency, and just making sure you're really um, upfront. Um, you can make choices if you want, um, but just realize that that's, you know, that's in your power. All right, questions, let me know. Thanks.